Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at some of the new enhancements in Accurig version 1.1. There have been a few new features that we've recently added to improve the usability of rigging, such as an enhanced symmetry workflow, a switch camera view feature, and an option to show the bone and wireframe, as well as hierarchical finger selection. First let's take a quick look at improvements to model information. When we import our model and go to the check model step, we can see that the basic information for the model, such as number of triangles and height of the model, now appear at the top. This model is showing 24,434 trifaces and stands at 182.18 centimeters. Generally, actor core characters will be between 180 to 200 centimeters, which we can use as a reference value. As usual, you can click Rig Body to go to the next step. In regards to the camera view and wireframe, there is a new toolbar on the left side of the viewport which contains quick camera view settings which make it easier to navigate your camera. These same views can also be toggled by using the A, S, D, F, and G hotkeys. You can also pick a specific joint and press the F hotkey to focus on it. In the toolbar, you can also change the display mode to aid with more accurate joint positioning. You can choose final render, wireframe, and wireframe on shaded modes. Wireframe can often help with more clearly marking the joints, particularly at the wrist, elbow, and clavicle joints. You can also change the wireframe color as well. Let's look at the symmetry tool next. Now it not only allows us to quickly mark the opposite joints, but it also retains the x-axis value at zero when moving the head, neck, and pelvis joints to ensure that they remain centered. If you switch to side view, you can adjust the y and z axes of each joint. If the head, neck, or pelvis joints are not centered, we can simply click the Snap to Center Plane button to reset the x-axis value back to zero. Next, let's look at hierarchical finger selection by moving on to the right hand. As always, ensure you have the correct number of fingers selected. You can see that when I hover the mouse over the parent finger joint, the child joints will also be highlighted. If we want to move them all together, then we can go and select Hierarchy under Transform Type, which will move all the child joints simultaneously. Again, you may find it useful to enter wireframe mode to get a better look at where the joints should be placed based on the geometry. Selected mode will allow you to move them one by one without affecting the rest of the hierarchy. If your character is symmetrical, you can then just head over to the left hand and click the mirror button to copy everything to that side, and then proceed to finalize the character to generate a skeleton and skin weight binding. The Show Bone option allows you to see your newly generated skeletal rig and how it's positioned in the character mesh. You can always go back and adjust your settings if you're not satisfied with the result. Finally, if your character is 100% symmetrical, you can use the Force Symmetry checkbox when setting the body rig. From there, every adjustment that you make will be mirrored to the other side, and the aforementioned center markers will always remain at the x-axis value of 0. Also, when you move on to the hands, you'll only need to do one by default as everything will be mirrored over exactly. That's it for this quick update for Accurig 1.1 with improvements that make it even quicker and easier to set up your character rig. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.